It ain't cool to come to somebody's land and put the people in perpetual servitude. It ain't cool to put people in slavery forever, no matter how you do it. And we're realizing that layer by layer, I mean, the whole habeas, you know, that's just another layer on things, you know what I mean? Look, I get it, you know what I mean? However you respond in your redemptive frequency, I get it, you know what I mean? If you go to Coombe, say, if you go Nat Turner, you know what I mean? If you go Harriet Tubman, Moshe, you know what I mean? If you, you know, <laughs> meditate your way through it, man, I get it, you know what I'm saying? We just vibing up and uh, uncovering the layers. Again, so with the habeas, I'm not no expert on habeas corpses and, you know, uh, I mean, there's, there's so many great videos, you know what I'm saying, uh, by a lot of sisters and brothers, you know, and different ciphers, you know what I'm saying, that break it really down with the whole UCC1 filing. I'm going to write that down, actually. I'm going to look at that today. Um, you know, the whole day, de, de jure versus de facto. We're going to look at that, you know. I mean, two completely different perspectives of reality right there, man. So, you know, I'm not an expert at it. A hop to all your emails, you know what I mean? Uh, this is why I didn't want to put it on the website or just put it out there because... Then you got a bunch of just random people just digging on it for the hell of it. But this particular information, this particular drop is for a particular nucleus of people, man. This is for, you know, uh, those that go, you know, a couple steps further, you know what I'm saying? To, uh, you know, make sure that this applies to their situation right now. You know what I mean? This is a personal document, a personal flow. Um. You know, it's not, you won't get it anywhere else unless you get it from uh, the brother Thaddeus Culpepper himself, man. And I pray for the bro on his journey, on his redemption. Uh, just heard, you know, from uh, one, of, one of our good bros, man, um, that had a lot to contribute to this habeas, man. So, you know what I'm saying? a hop to you, my brother. You know what I mean? And we just, we, we just going to keep it like that. We just going to keep it like that, man. This is your redemptive quality, man. This is your redemptive energy. And it's not cool to keep people in subjugation, man, perpetually. It's not cool to have us as perpetual servants in this corp, in this dead body, right? Because we're not dead. We're, we're, we're living flesh and blood. So, again, I would never, I would never uh, implore, you know, Drop Nation to ever sign anything into this system. Uh, if there's anything... You know, that can separate you from that. Then that's the stuff you want to look into when you look at uh, the habeas and possibly, you know, the UCC. I'm still looking into the UCC one stuff, you know what I mean? But, you know, if that if that if that puts your account on lean or separates you without you having to, you know, commit to anything or, or sign over anything. These are the things we're reconning because, you know, again, you know, you do you, you know, what I'm saying everyone figure this shit out, you know what I'm saying, that this is what Drop Nation is, I'm not a guru at UCC1 filings or habeas, this, this, and that, I'm not, you know, obviously the whole status change, I would never say, you know, or, or you know, something never will just sit right within myself, should I say, to say, hey, okay, I'm gonna claim this new identity, but I didn't invent it, it's just another corporate entity that they've invented, whether it's black, white, uh, uh, American Indian, these are all just titles that we don't own, you dig? So I would never say claim another title that you don't own, even if it somewhat kind of applies to you. We ain't talking about, you know, claiming the Chickamauga, you know what I'm saying? We're not talking about, you know what I'm saying, claiming your true indigenous Amaru Khan identity. Those other titles don't really encompass that, for real, for real. So, Again, you know, we digging on it a little bit more. I just wanted to address some of these great comments, some of these great emails, man. Um, you know, just address the family, man. I just appreciate all all the energy, man. A lot of folks got, a lot of folks did get at me on the email. And uh, I did my best to get at them, um, you know what I'm saying, within one day, man. Because I wanted to make sure that everyone that wanted the drop got the drop right now. 
And then from that point, you can dig it out, you can recon it, but you gotta be your own recon. Uh, you gotta literally recon on your own or with your people, put 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 your community together, a couple people, that's all you need. And you know, any gaps in, in what I've been able to present, what the brother Thaddeus has been able to present, you fill those gaps in, um, you know what I mean? Those uh, bonds, I'll, uh, I'll show them again so you, you know, so you got the list of the bonds, you know, but all this stuff is available on the government website. Um, it's, it's very simple stuff, so I don't feel the need to put PDFs or the bonds up or nothing like that. I mean, not when they're available for free. You can just print them out like Chef Candy did. I mean, so you're going to have to take that next step. But I wanted you to at least have the layout, you know what I'm saying, that the brother Thaddeus put together because I promised the bro I would share it with the tribe. And trust me, man, that's tribe right there. You know what I'm saying? That's tribe. You know what I mean? That's who I kept Shabbat with for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, you know, really dug on it. You know what I'm saying? Really dug on the investigation. And that's tribe right there. So, hey, uh, that is. You know what I mean? We reeling up, man. We digging on it. Uh, you know, who is Preston John, man? All right, who is Preston John? Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to be regal again. You're going to have to be the regal Negro again. So everything we're talking about is to get, you know, regal to be separate. You know, I don't want to be merged into any part of this sinking ship. You know what I'm saying? I want to separate. I want the children to separate. I want us to return to our forest, man. Return to our mountains. Return to our trees, man. We're going to start talking about these trees more and more, man, because we need to get breezy. We need to feel good, man. So, again... If you requested the habeas, you should have it by now. If you did it, you know, yesterday or so, based on the timestamp of this video. If you have not received it, email me again. Some folks got other questions, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not a guru, you know what I mean? So I'll get back to you uh, with the best I got. But, you know, if you're looking for more videos on, on, on UCC1 filings or, or XYZ, you go out there and just recon it, you know what I mean? I, I don't have a bunch of videos of the stuff. I'm just sharing a document, a personal document, not something I stumbled on, but something that, you know what I'm saying, was literally put together line by line right before me within the cipher that Hawa, you know, had me through on my journey. So it's just a personal flow, man. I got a vibe up, man. I got a, I got my crystal on today, man, because sometimes, you know, you're supposed to, you know, just really be in that frequency, man, right in your heart bone, man. So I got my heart bone spiraling. <laughs> I heard somebody one one time called this a moon rock. Moon rock. Yeah, man, when our uh, highly educated, dynamic scholars are calling crystals moon rocks, you know we in trouble, man. You know we in trouble, man. We, 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 we gonna have to, we gonna have to eat the rough, man. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a Citron. I love to uh, CJ battle for the copper wiring on it, man. And yeah, I got the copper, 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 man. I'm just, I, I just need the flow, man. I got the flutes, man. I need the flow, man. It's one of those dreary days in Cali. Y'all been hearing about this arc storm and all this stuff, man. Look, man, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? But I know we're going to hold it down. I know we're going to vibe up. And I know we're going to try, but, you know what I'm saying? All praise our creator. Allow Hawa to check out CJ Battle. His brand new soundtrack dropped on SoundCloud, man. Go to c.j.battle. To hear the great work of CJ Battle and every Wednesday, 7 o'clock, CJ has an incredible ether session where he just, you know, falls back. He gets his twinkle on, you know, as an incredible, you know, A1 producer. The bro puts together melodic sounds, man. Just just go check it out. He also features incredible artists throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth uh, arena and beyond, man. So we flowing, man, with CJ Battle. Man, Ahab to, uh, let me get this brother's name right, man. Make sure I got it right. I got my computer up here, so don't trip, man. I got my, I got my battle station, man. It's a war pad, man. We on a war pad. Ahab to the brother. Here we go, here we go. Hey, hi to my brother James, man. I think it goes by the light hour, man. Hey, hi to the light hour. 
who just uh, shared some incre incredible, I mean, highly amazing. <laughs> you got to check this website out, man. Um, I'm going to leave the link below. His wife put together an incredible fashion. Uh, she also, you know, does a variety of crystal designs, jewelry. She also does painting. I mean, you got to check out the sister Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? I believe it's Phoenix ism.com but i'm gonna uh, leave the link below we just dropped it the the newest member in the drop shop you know what i'm saying so scroll down see all the you know great members in the drop shop man and support them all man this is all tribe uh doing indigenous products for the indigenous community and uh yeah check out that uh phoenix ism.com but uh go to go to the drop shop i'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute uh, the sister did a special discount code for Drop Nation, so we're gonna start doing, you know, you know, just just having fun with the, with the merch, and all the vendors, man, and uh, we got a special discount code to Drop Nation. I believe it's twenty percent, man. So, go when you click on, I'll, I'll show you the link, you know, in the Drop Shop. Automatically, whatever you order, you got twenty percent off, man. So love to the Light Hour, my brother James. Love to his wife Phoenix. Keep on uh, flowing, man. Great to have you in the drop shop. Let's go. So we're going to fall back. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's do it like this, man. I have to write stuff down, man. Because there's so much, so many things I want to do today. I think we're going to start with uh, hitting up a few comments, man. Let's just do it like this. We're going to start with the email comments, man. Why not? There's a lot of folks emailed about the habeas. And you know what I mean? It just felt incredible. It felt yapa, man, that it really had an effect on you. You know what I'm saying? It felt yapa that you were able to get some drop out of it, man. And whether you got a father, a son, a sister, a brother, a nephew, a homie in this situation, you was able to eat the rub, man. And, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate, you know what I mean, just being able to, you know, be a part of a solution, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to do your part, but we gonna do our part too, man. And it feels good to really walk in those shoes, man. We drop nation, let's go. Love to the sister, Teresa, Teresa Alexander. She said, all praise to my almighty higher power. I thank the heavenly father for all his knowledge placed in your energy space. I am requesting for a copy of the habeas really needed to assist me in the case I really do appreciate it. I really thank you. Keep up the good work. Sh stay strong. You are very much supported. All right. Much love to my sister, Teresa. Uh, we thank you for for your support. We support you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hi to the tribe. All right. Love to the family. Uh, Anthony Johnson. He says, hey, man, thank you so much for all you do for the people. All right, I would like to get a copy of the habeas. I'm going to file it this week. If you could please send me the legal ease and I will push forward, forward and share with you the outcome and also help people uh, with their filing fees because that that is the primary roadblock. All right, man. So my brother Anthony, man, I mean, that's the attitude, man. That's That's the flow, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, man. I mean, I mean, Cali, man. <laughs> allergies is killing me. Allergies is killing me in Cali, man. All right, cool. I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah, I mean, that's the attitude that we want you to have right there, man. It's like, look, I'm going to, you know, push it forward. You know what I mean? Just, just to push it forward, that's all we can really ask for. You know what I'm saying? That you're pushing it forward. You're pushing it forward. Um, you know, any piece, any piece that you can, you know, you, utilize, man, to push forward, you know, something that's beneficial to separating out of captivity. I mean, that's what you use the Sabias for. And the brother said he's going to share it with other people and help them with their filing fees, man. So love to Anthony Johnson, man. man. That type of uh, flow right there is exactly what we do it for. Get a couple more from the emails. All right, here we go. Uh, greetings, brother. Thank you for the drop on the habeas corpus. This is from sister denise let's go i have a nephew 
that had been in prison five months ago in Arizona. He's 21 years old. I'm going to work with my brother, his father, to get him released. And with the help of this, with the help of this information, I want you to know learning this information is not new to me. I've listened to Tammy Peppermint's lectures on the matter. I'm sure putting putting into play is all New Testament is an all New Testament. I may need a bit of guidance or have a question. I'm hoping you might be able to help. All right. It says, these are interesting times for us. I am relatively new to your YouTube channel. I love all for the drop. I love all for the drop you have to putting out. I started with Roraima as my lineage comes from Guyana, man. So the sister just started surfing away and she started surfing away with Mount Roraima, you know what I mean? And digging on Mount Roraima, love to Chef Candy, who was actually reading that every week to the tribe, you know what I mean? Live, you know, in the ether, man. So, um, you know, for, I mean, you know what I mean? For, for the family to be vortexed in, talking about the tree of life and then now we're talking about you know a possible remedy you know what i'm saying something that you could you know give you hope man to save you is, and i hope it does man I, I truly do hope you know that i hear you know great success stories you know what i'm saying whether you use the whole thing or use some of the information in it uh, the sister also said i like i like a copy of the document i know this will save my nephew's life as he is charged with murder one and even uh one of the jobs that we're gonna uh, feature today uh, the sister saying that there's no actual criminal you know there's no such thing as a as a criminal uh, you know what statue or what crime not crime but uh, you know it's criminal and it's civil it's a lot of information going back for it's criminal and it's civil so when they say oh, this is criminal it's not civil everything is civil everything is civil everything's supposed to have a fee you know a fee or imprisonment, that type of thing. Now they just take your vessel. So I believe the sister that we're about to feature said that the even for murder, that's supposed to be like $4 million or something like that. It's supposed to be a fee. Even that's civil. All right, let's go. So there's a lot to dig on. And hopefully, sister, you're watching this so you can uh, at least get the link for the video that we're about to uh, share tonight or share right now and get the drive love to Sister Denise. And I'm just going to give some shout outs to a few more folks, man. Love to uh, Raphael Monroe. Love to the sister MJ Jones. Let's go. She said, many thanks. I look forward to processing and putting all this information to work for me and mine. That's their attitude. Love to MJ Jones, man. Love to Jacob Ivory. He said, Shalom, brother. Hope all is well. Can you send me those documents for the habeas? We got you, man. Hopefully you got that drop. My brother Jacob. My brother James Day. He said, Shalom, brother. Could you send me that PDF? Thanks in advance. Yeah, you got the drop, man. You got that drop, man. I pray. I pray it's fluid with you too, my brother James, man. Love to Niles' dad. Niles died, one of our dragon sponsors on the wall, man. A hop to our dragon sponsors on the wall. I mean, I think we just got two more dragon sponsors on the wall, so we're going to shout them out in a minute. Brother Drop, may I have that PDF? You got that drop, Brother Niles. Thank you for your support, man. The water, for your flow. And again, every single dollar that we get from the dragon sponsors is going, it's getting split into all, the entire Ether squad. So we got 17 members of the community dropping in the ether you know what i'm saying every week so you know i think we get over 700 we might be up to 750 now i gotta add it up but that 750 is divided 17 ways so the more you support the more it's divided into the family so they can save up tribe up buy land you know what i'm saying happy for emergencies so every dollar in the dragon sponsor is going in to support the entire tribe man so they can keep the water flowing you know what I mean? And dodge the hijacks. We all trying to dodge the hijacks, man. We got to dodge the hijacks, man. Dodge the hijacks, man. Eat the rough. Let's go. Love to 
Now's dad. Now's dad. Love to Chavez Curry. Chavez Curry. He said, can I get the drop? Please, I need to get my brother right, man. That's what we doing. We getting our brothers right. Love to Chavez Curry, man. Love to HOS. Oh, man. HOS. Actually dropped a cool little logo, man. I might have to... Uh... Try to download it so I can drop it in the drop chatter. There we go. Man, this is a dope logo, man. And any uh, graphic artist, man, you want to design some dope logos, man, we'll definitely feature them and hopefully have a few we can use. You know what I'm saying? Cool, man. So I'm going to drop that in the drop chatter box. <laughs> Sorry, man. I might be uh, airing, you know, clearing out. Clearing out my passageways, man, throughout this video. But y'all used to it, man. You've been surfing away from the balcony, you know, drop, man. Sometimes, man, uh, it's California dust, man. Now, I don't know, you know, what's going on, man, with, with this crazy weather, man. I know we digging on it, though. And we got to overcome it. Um, definitely got to step up on my herbs. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got to step up on, uh, you know, some of those, um, you know, real, you know what I'm saying, dope, you know, type of, you know, health supplement thing. You know what I mean? You know, I, I got to step up on that, man. I'm doing good with my eating, man. But, you know, we still got to, we got so many metals that we got to overcome. So beyond just eating good, you got to get stuff to, decalcify and all that so if you got some drop on that man you know i'll let you go out all right cool so i i just dropped the logo man from my bro in the drop chatter we'll uh, check it out before we get out of here man but love to my brother hos for that logo man and he wanted to drop and my brother you got the drop Bang, bang. Love to Aboriginal Gem Finder. My brother, he said, peace and light, Con, another fire drop. Mortgage, Mort Gage, Mort Gage, man. Hey, man, you ain't dead. We ain't dead, we flesh and blood. You see how these words be play play, man. He said, thanks again. Wanted to ask if you could send that drop to me via email. Got you, brother. You should already have it. My brother, Aboriginal Gem Finder. Love to the family Yogi. Yogi said, Habeas Corpus and anything on child support loans. Thank you so much. Bless love. Respect. Rastafari. I <laughs> love to Yogi. I just sent you that drop, bro. And gotta give some love to my sister Latanya Wells. She said, I'd like a copy of this drop, man. Please and thank you. Be blessed. Our sisters, man, are really digging, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, these are our lionesses, man. These are our lady dragons, man. Love to Yahana Awoken. Shalom Drop, I would like to say thank you for your time and effort in dropping these jewels on us. Can you please email me the drop on the habeas? I got you. You already got that drop. Family Yahana. Uh, this is a good job from uh, Royce Franklin, who says, Peace King, needless to say, I've been turning in to the drop, <laughs> or tuning in to the drop. I'm like, yeah, man, you did. You could definitely turn into the drop, because you are the drop, man. <laughs> Still got to get on the right frequency, though. Hey, bro, I don't even know your name yet. Haven't caught it yet in any of your YouTube videos. Yeah, man, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, just call me Drop, though. Call me Drop, man. <laughs> Can you send me your info and process on the habeas corpus, please? I'm trying to get my bro free. I appreciate all the info you've been dropping. 
If you have a P.O. box, I can send you some books that my homeboy has written on the Torah and likes. Let me know. You can check his books at Design Poetry Group. All right. Thanks in advance. Royce. Hey, hi, brother Royce. And uh, yeah, man, I definitely want to check some drop out, man. You already know. You already know. And my name. Yeah, man. I mean, you just gonna have to surf the wave, man. You gonna have to surf the wave, man. Love to the family, Krentz Cobbs. He said, what's good, Drop? My name is Krentz, man. I've been following you for three years now, and I just saw the video you released about the habeas corpus, and I was hoping you could send me a copy because I just recently went through the same kind of thing you went through. Man, he said, except after they kidnapped me. That's what they do when they pick you up and put you in jail or they remand you on the spot. He said, they trafficked me all the way from Oregon to Florida twice and went through a bunch of BS that me and my family shouldn't have had to experience but like you said everything happens for a reason I would just like the means to be able to protect myself if something should ever happen again I also want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done and that you are in the process of doing man great work brother Chris much a high man I mean that's a journey and we on it together you know what I'm saying we a lot of us going through similar things, you know what I mean? It don't matter if you are on YouTube, off YouTube, watch YouTube, X, Y, Z, man. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we family for real, you know what I'm saying? We going through this for real. I'm not exempt from anything you going through clearly, and you, you in the same flow as me. So, you know, this is why we can figure it out together, man. Ahab to Ramon, Ramone. He said, it would be more than a blessing if you could send me a copy of the great work you present. I really need this. It would be about to help me out in the long run. Powerful information. Love to Ramon. A hop to Ray Zulietta. Another dragon sponsor on the wall. What it do? My brother Ray. Shalom Ak. I just finished watching the video on that. On the drop on the habeas corpus, I was hoping you could take the time to send me the PDF of those files. Thank you for continuing to do what you do, Raymond. Zeliwetta, Zeliwetta. <laughs> hey, hi, brother Raymond. You got that drop, man. You got the drop. And again, appreciation for keeping the water flowing to the tribe. And my bro, Mike Premier, man, he says, Shalom, calm. I was doing the knowledge to your videos. I saw that you had the habeas corpus paper because I was hoping to get, if, I can, if you could email that to me as I'm dealing with court issues myself. So, again, the main thing, man, is that we're all dealing with these issues. You know what I'm saying? Either they're, you know, either it's up to us to pay it forward and, and, and to use what we got to move forward strategically. You know what I'm saying? Or... You know, we just fall back and just be dead. You know what I mean? And Valley of Dry Bones, man, we're waking up, man. So my bro says he's going through issues himself. Any form of knowledge can help. Thank you, Ak. Not just for my request, but for your dedication to the struggle, peace, and power, man. Hey, hi, my brother Mike Premier. And one more, man, one more, man. Let's get this here from the family, uh, Ray Ray, Aborigine, Aborigine. <laughs> he just said, please, peace, brother. Send me a copy of the habeas PDF, man. And there's many more, man. I mean, there's many, many more. I uh, wish I had time. To... I know there were a couple more that I definitely wanted to look at. Let's see. Pamela Mitchell, she said, hello, King Drop. I am currently listening to your habeas YouTube and I was interested in receiving a copy of the PDF you're referring to. Please email me a copy at your earliest convenience. Thank you in advance, Pamela Mitchell, another great dedicated supporter to the wave. Minister Family Tanisha, Ahab Tanisha. She said, can you please share with me as to how to use my husband's account and get him free? He has served 24 years already but he is a LWOP. The new law should have it where he should be released, but just in case 
they pull some madness. I need him set free. We are from California as well. Please help me. Please send me the PDF so I can study it and get him and others set free. And if this ain't real spill, if that ain't real spill right there, man, then what are we doing it for? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, sister, you got the PDF. And again, you know, I'm not a guru on, on uh, you know, filing strategies and different things like that. But this, the other information is already there on YouTube. We're just kind of using this to fill some gap, you know what I mean, that some may have, you know what I mean, or may uh, not have uh, incorporated, you know what I mean, in their particular filing separation. I consider this more of a filing separation rather than a new contract you're making. But it, again, you know, it takes us looking further into it. But some have already looked way further into it and they see it like, oh, I, I see that the brother Thaddeus went in on this and I want to, you know, use this to support what I've already gone in on. You know what I mean? So by all means, use it that way. And to my sister Tanisha, you know what I'm saying? Love to you, your family, your husband, and all those, man, that are going through these particular dramas, man. And, you know, love to everybody out there that we didn't mention or name that's going through this, man. So I wanted to take that time to address, you know, really in particular the emails, man, because the emails, you know, are, you know, just that step, that extra step, you know what I'm saying, and that I wanted to make sure, you know, you were willing to take, you know, to get the information. And those that got the information, I appreciate y'all for taking that step so that I know you're serious about getting something that's very personal and, um, you know what I mean, powerful, you know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes you got to know who's surfing the wave, man. And, uh, you know, utilize it, utilize it. Anybody that ain't got it, hit me up, music at 432thedrop.com, music at 432thedrop.com. And let's go, man. Let's get alkaline. And those are the emails. Of course, there's great comments all day. Hey, hi to the, all the Shabbat time, man, here on YouTube and IG, everywhere else that you drop a comment. Make sure you're alkalining up. The more alkaline, man, less you gotta worry about allergies and bullshit. You know? Alright, we good? We good? Alright, cool, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. Again, great comments. A hop to color, copper colored milchi. She said, read the 1666 uh, Sesti VK, Sesti KV Act. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, we got to get into that 1666 Sesti KV Act, Q U E V I E. Because I know they got a lot of. I mean, that's 1666. We we know they, they thought the world was ending in 1666. All right, so this 1666 business is a red flag, just like uh, something from 1811. You know what I mean? There's certain times or little breaks in the timeline where you can start kind of putting together what really what really happened. All right. Love to 777. Showtime. Very informative. Octa Wada and Death Share. And, and will death share much of high, man. Thank you for sharing, my brother. Uh, or my sister, actually. 777 Showtime. My sister, what it do? Love to Jay Hall. You know, drop drop some great drop. I mean, everyone's dropping great drop on this, man. I mean, you see how many, you know, you know, family has been digging on this, man. So this is just one of those, you know, sort of, uh, you know, mind bombs, you know what I mean, mind blasting situations where you're like, oh, you know what, I've been digging on that, so let me apply this to this and apply that to that, and, you know, boom, 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 so go ahead and do it, man, love to Cody and Buddy, Preston John is still alive, <laughs> that's crazy, man, much of hype, Cody and Buddy, oh, man, and uh, my sister Debbie, Deborah, or Debbie Adams, she said, great drop, Per usual, a great perspective on the privatization and prison industrial complex. We're gonna get some more on that, on that right now. She said, "While co wh white collar criminals would fill them to the brim, I like your situation. I like in your situation to, to Genesis 39, Potiphar's wife and whatnot. Much love to you and to your tribe. Blessed be unto all you, man. A hi, my sister Debbie Adams." Uh, man, love to the at 
ethno bands the ethno bands my sister she said wonderful work king brother excellent truth and facts we have been so abused and bamboozled it's been one one big ass masquerade party hosted by monkeys <laughs> game over totally agree the ransoms will be paid by the most high power working now glory be and praises to the most high god power <laughs> who who has a mighty hand love to the ethno bangs love to my bro Toltec Sylvanus, what it do? He said, all Ahab getting it in, in the belly of dog to see clearly, vibing up, flowing water, nostrils flaring, the Mozart nation restore. Hey, the Mozart, the Mozart, let's go, the Mozaker. Somebody seeing clearly, man. My brother, my jigger, my jigger, man, get in that classroom, my jigger, every. Every Sunday, 6 o'clock, Fake It Out Loud. Great music we always feature, man. You already know. Tribal music. Tribal music. Tribal flow. He said, they owe us everything and more. Man, simple and plain, man. Love to my jigger. Uh, the bro Desmond Williams said, what if I had land documents uh, stating, stating of my family owned that my family owns 74 acres and oil and gas what should i do how should i approach the situation i don't know bro you know claim your land you know you got if you got the document saying you own the land claim the land you know what i mean but uh you know let me know man be more specific i think i think you just gotta just claim your land you know if you got the land document stating that your family owns 74 acres of the land or oil gas you know you know I got to know more about the situation. But email me, man. Music at 432thedrop.com. And like like I said, I ain't no guru, man. But I think you just got to claim your land, man. And uh, MJ Jones said $66 million in gold. We don't want them worthless fiat monopoly dollars. Brother, I want copies of all that. You got the copies and you got the drop. So, again, everyone got the drop. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the family. Uh, you know, oh yeah, yeah, I got some new Dragon sponsors, man, love to Beverly Griffith Fenton, uh, she actually just did a donation, man, Ahab to the sister of Beverly for the Yapa donation, I mean, goes right into the infrastructure of 4 through 2 to drop radio, so you can see us grow like that there, man, we appreciate you, the new, uh, Copper Dragon sponsor, we got Yolanda Clue, much, much Ahab Clue, Clue, I think I'm saying that right, K-L-U-G-H. Much I hire my sister Yolanda, man. Uh, Ryan Brown, another Copper Dragon sponsor on the wall. Brand new, man. Love to Ryan Brown. And Dustin Williams. I believe it might be the same Dustin Williams who just said, I got the land, I got the land. Claim your land, man. But hey, hop, man. He, he's a Dragon sponsor on the wall, man. So either way, you're going to get your land. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Every Naga got a dragon. Every Naga got a dragon. And love to uh, Niles Dodd, Arlene Kamanzuli, uh, Verinda Rosado, Sister Renana, what it do? <laughs> Penelope Campbell, uh, Ash, Asha, Ashaki Bells D, much of have Ashaki Bells D, uh, Jose Hipkins, man, my brother Yosef, Miss D in the Copper Color Awakening, Denise Green, Marcia. Uh, man, 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 Rachel Hearn, Mario Davis, Jethro Pearson, Curtis Key, Aqua Todd Battle, the great, uh, divine greatness and fitness gym, what it do? Con Fresh, Rob Brown, what it do? Robert Salazar, Nettie, Nettie Perry, Valerie Ware, and Simon Johnson. Those are other dragon sponsors on the wall. They're sponsoring, you know, dragon sponsors are, 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 are seraphim sponsors. You know, they're angel sponsors. And they're giving us the flow, keeping the water flowing and the fire. The dragon, smokeless, Eleazar, fire burning. You know what I mean? So, hey, hop to all y'all, as well as some of those are uh, new donations, uh, merchandise, all that, man. So, we appreciate all that. And Drop Nation, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right, man. We talk comments. 
We talked about our Dragon sponsor. We good, man. We talked about the habeas, the drop shot. Let's go, man. Let's go into it, man. So we're going to go into the flow. Right now, we're just surfing the wave, man. In the drop library, man. Let's let's get on over here, man. We're going to watch a couple of videos. And uh, just, just keep it real trill, man, for this part three here on the habeas. I'm going to fall back and have some tea. I'm taking it real easy today, you know what I'm saying? Because it's raining outside. I said it's raining outside, man. Let's go, man. Hey, huh? Let go. Drop Nation. We've been patiently waiting. Man, if you don't get in this library like that, man, like that there. Make sure you good. There we go. You should always have this tab up, man. You at work, you chilling. You should always be surfing the wave in the drop library. Surf the wave. Uh-oh. We got in battle time with Ty. Battle coming up at 6 o'clock. And you always know what's dropping over here. When you got a few of these left, the uh, I Am The Book shirt. It said, I never appreciated reading to I realized I am the book. And support the drop, man. Hey, hi. Huh? Oh, I mean, the library's popping, man. You know, the library. Oh, yeah. You can get the app. You can get the app on the Apple and the Google Play, man. So get that app. Surf the wave with the ether squad like that there. You know what's happening on IG. Get in the library. Because we're keeping the water flowing. In the drop library. We're keeping the water flowing. A high tide battle. The record keeper. Keeping the water flowing. Keeping the water flowing. Keeping the water flowing. Keeping the water flowing. Keeping the water flowing, keeping the water flowing, keeping the water flowing in the drop library. And there's many more new additions that we're organizing now, so be patient, surf the way, let's go. If you ain't got that drop, man, a hop to the droplets, man, if you ain't got that drop, we're gonna dig on some bam bam man, some primitive technology for the dismount. We'll get on we'll get into that bam bam, man. Don't trip. Ty Battle just dropped this today, man. Book drop, conversational issues in Scottish history by William Gray. Any enslaved and colonial times within the present limits of the United States by Almond Lauber. The Kebra Nagas, EA Budge. I right? dropped by Aqua Riri. Hey hi to my sister Riri. Let's go. The Declaration of Independence and U.S. Constitution. Everybody got to have a copy of this so you know how to maneuver. Let's go. Book Drive. Gen genealogical Research Essentials by Wright and Pratt. Passenger List of Ships Coming to America, 1607-1825, compiled by Harold LaCour. Book Drive. The Original List of Persons of Quality, Immigrants, Religious Exiles, Political Rebels, Serving Men, Sold for a term of years, apprentices, children of stolen natives, press, and others who went from the Great Britain to American plantations, 1600s, 1700s, edited by John Hotton. Man, love to Takum say for this great drop uh, link here. We might get a piece of this as well. Yeah, we got a brother named Takum say <laughs> kicking it in the drop chatter. And any, um, we love to KB did another great Red Chill Pill Lounge season two, episode five. KB the hijack of Cesar. You miss any shows? Just head on over to the categories, man. All you gotta do is come over here. These are the categories, all right? These are the categories, and you can click on whatever show you think you missed, or whatever other in the category that interests you, or just go to. 
the category that's called the drop radio. Alright, right here. So you click on the drop radio right there. And then it's gonna, you know, pretty much give you all the latest drops like that, man. We got map drop, we got poetry, love, oh man. Love to the anonymous family. <laughs> For this incredible po poem we're going to share this uh, Friday. This Friday for the Shabbat show. We got map drop. Oh, you got an upside down map situation, man. Oh, this is crazy right here. By Nicholas Deslines in 1566. And when you zoom in on this, uh, let's see. Do it like this here. What do you see when you zoom in? You see all these letters. This is Afrikaan, but it's written upside down. All the names are upside down. Look at America. Tierra, ah, Tierra, whatever, you know what I mean? This is all upside down situation. Even this is written upside down. This is it says 1895 right here. You see it's upside down. So why are we looking at it the other way? Because somebody is flipping it over. But back then, 1865, you see the signatures upside down. Right here. The signatures upside down. Letting you know one thing and one thing only. That this is upside down. <laughs> and when you flip it over... North becomes south and east becomes west. And now you know where you're at, my naga. Now you see clearly, man. Dig on that. Nicholas Desmond's map 1566. But I mean, you got to come over here to the drop to get the drop. You know what I mean? You're going to have to dig on it with Drop Nation, man, and connect with it in real time, man. So you got the drop. Allow what? You definitely got to make sure that you are surfing the wave, like I'm saying, man, with the Ether Squad. Anytime you need to know when the schedule is, click on Live Schedule right under the drop chat. And then you have an updated schedule. I'll keep updating it. Always show that a high. So, yeah, man, I mean, like when I say it's 17 of us, you count it, man. Matter of fact, let's do an eat the roll call, man. Let's go. All right, you got my jigger. This is the Sunday lineup, man. Starting at six, my jigger. Yosef at seven. DJ Noski at eight. All right, you got thinking out loud. Energy frequency with Yosef. You got Noski coming in with a brand new vinyl mix at 8 o'clock. Then you got the drop stream. Let's go. You got Johanna 10 on Monday at 6. Carrie Mayo at 7. AD, Hour of Truth at 8 o'clock. Then you got the books we're reading, man, every week on Monday. Uh, the American Holocaust. Then we go into the Preston Hour. We dig on Preston John every Monday night at 10. Let's go. Tuesday, you got KD, the hijacker Cezanne, dropping the Red Chill Pill Lounge. Then you got the Templar Up, Urban Reed at 7. You got Draconology 101 at 8. Then we're reading the book Kalelus by uh, Cyclone Covey every Tuesday night at 9. This is what we do every week, man. Join us. Wednesday, Tide Battle, man. You got in battle time, man. Wednesday, 6 o'clock, CJ Battles Ether Session, man, at, at 7. The Brother Exilence, man, coming back strong. Wednesdays at 8 o'clock, man. Then we got the Dark Light Consciousness we're reading, man, every week at nine o'clock so that's three different books we're reading every week <laughs> all right plus all the books that we're reading with drop nation 
Thursday, you got Cobb Fresh Lyrics and Books at 6. Big Brother Nature Living Well, man. Teaching you all the health tips, man. Hit up brothernature.com for more. And you got Chef Candy bringing in that Zion cooking and reading out of the uh, Lost Continents of Moo, man. Every single Thursday night, 8 o'clock. Then you got the Friday lineup. Wait, wait. Then you got Turf Thurs. Then we go live. So our two live shows are Thursday and Friday. We go live for Turf Thurs. We just... We get real linky. We dig on these great links, as well as feature independent artists that we call drop artists and producers. Friday, man, you got the Thai Battle Poetry Hour at 6. Torah Only Sessions with Khan Drop at 7. And the Ha Khan Higher Mark hits us with another log on our headbone, man, every Friday, 8 o'clock. And all these are Pacific times. Then we got our Shabbat show starting at... Nine o'clock until really, but you know, we try to end around midnight, sort of. You know, and then Saturday we got Crystal Essentials at five for Thai Battle Zion reading, man. Chef Candy's reading another book. <laughs> How many books is it? you getting, man? You, you might be getting dang near a dozen books read, read to you every week, man. You know, what I mean, I mean, it's, it's getting there, you know what I'm saying? You got Zion reading. At 6 o'clock Saturday, and then you got the drop interview hour, man. Any interviews that we feature through the week. Then you got the Isaac Ford Frequency Rehab. Isaac is in the mix from 8 to 10, dropping all the new, new. All the new, new in hip-hop. He also, you know, brings it back, too, man. He goes in the crates, man. So love to Isaac Ford. And he features the uh, independent drop artists as well, man. So then we got the drop artist hour. So that's the TDR schedule. Uh, you know, if you, if you count it. Including myself, you got 17 different people, and we have at least two or three that probably will be joining us, uh, you know, this month. So it's going to be 20 people real soon. So everything that you uh, come over here, when you say sponsor the Drop Radio, you could be a Copper Dragon for 25, Silver Dragon for 50 a month, and Gold Dragon sponsor for 100 a month, and whatever you're able to do, whatever feels right, man. And this gets split 17 ways. So you're seeing the entire flock of 17 people, you know what I mean, flowing, flowing together, you know what I mean, uh, with these drops, drop uh, sponsor flows here. So you are, you know, taking them out to dinner, you know what I'm saying? You uh, are, are giving them the money to buy a new book. That $40 right now, each of us are getting $40 a month. So that's enough to buy a new book every month or, or to put it together and do something. Uh, think about the battle family. We got CJ Battle, Ty Battle, and Brother Nature dropping it every week in the ether. That's 40, 40, 40 right now. That's $120 you're bringing into the battle household, the battle tribe every single month. They get $120 from Drop Nation from the sponsorship. So we're, bu- we're doing this together. We're building brick by brick. And by next year, just watch us, man. Watch us flow. Let's go. Watch us flow. A high to the home team. Keep supporting the drop. Keep supporting the way. So we dug on some comments. We dug on some emails. We gave A high to the dragon sponsors and all the wonderful uh, donors to Drop Nation. All, all the wonderful donations, man. And uh, yeah, man, we've been uh, dropping this habeas, you know. And this is what the link looks like. If you want this drop, hit me up, music at 432thedrop.com. And I went ahead and uh, PDF this bad boy, 13 page habeas corpus. So the entire thing that I read in parts one and two is right here for you. As promised, man. Allow why. So, you know, I'm not going to read it over again. You got the drop, man. And if you want your copy, hit me up, music at 432 the drop.com man i mean enslavement involuntary servitude 10 racks false arrest i mean 10 million 1 million 3 million false imprisonment <laughs> being placed in fear unlawfully touched by the hands of these agents of the united states 2 million i mean all this is what is being issued with these you know bonds whether they're gsa bonds or anything like that of the like. And that's a very important uh, you know, aspect, man. 
we'll uh, touch on those too. You know, if you want more information about the specific bonds, if you're not able to find them, I went over every single one of them in parts one and two. So you should be able to go back and just, you know, take notes, man. You know, take notes and look it up. Um, you know, right on the government webpage, man. It's not hard to find at all to get. You just gotta know what to look for. So we went over each and every one that we know of. There's this other ones, obviously, that you can dig on as well. But now, at least, at the very, very least, you got the drop, man. All right? At the very least, you got the drop. The business model of private prisons. We, uh, we're reading some of this as well. Come on, man. You're jamming me up, man. You're jamming the drums. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I hate these jammers, man. Jam. I want you to get the drop. But you got all these links, click them below. Uh, the business model of private prisons. So we got some of this before. The difference between private prisons, public prisons. How a prison, private prison makes money. A public prison is naturally non-profit. The end goal is to house prisoners in an attempt to rehab them or remove them from the streets. A private prison, on the other hand, is run by a corporation. That corporation's end goal is to profit from anything they deal in. In order to make money, in order to make money, they receive a stipend from the government. This money from the government can be paid in a multitude of different ways. It can be based on the size of the prison, based on the monthly or yearly set amount, or in most cases is based is paid based on the number of prisoners that the prison houses. Let's go from here. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of wing wham in this too. The goal of a private prison is to rehabilitate socially defiant individuals. I don't think so. The goal of a private prison is to make money. You know what I'm saying? By incarcerating or, you know, so-called overseeing, you know, this entire, uh, you know, just straight up farce attack, man. This is just a farce system and it's a farce attack. You know, this is straight prisoner prisoner of war, uh, declarations of war, you know what I mean? This, there's nothing pretty about it. And all they do is just benefit off of the oppression of this fiat currency. And really the oppression of the matrix itself, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we are, we've been invaded, you know, welcome to a new system, a new world order, right? Let's go, because the old world order is Prester John. Who is Prester John? So the goal of a private prison is to rehabilitate. Yeah, right, man. Since prison has over 75% recidivism rate, recidivism rate, these goals have been doubted, doubled. Uh, beside that point, if prisons were 100% effect, the private prisons would be working themselves out of business. Ah. This making one wonder, is prison supposed to rehab the individual or is it supposed to earn money? If the goal is to earn money, then a high prison population is the end goal because it that's you can't have a biased system set up to make money off of slavery. You know what I mean? It's the same thing, right? But <laughs> I said you can't have a biased system to make money off of slavery, but it's this it's exactly what's going on and what's been going on, right? It's a biased system making money off of slavery. Man, the bottom line, there's currently around 15,000 inmates housed in about 130 private prisons. They represent roughly 8 to 10 percent of the prisoner population. So they're being more privatized. Only 10 percent are privatized now, but the government is making money regardless, private, so-called private or not. Many of these prisons say the government save the government money, but exactly costs more, but some actually cost more per prisoner than public facility would cost. The capitalist mindset says at this time an industry can run privately. It is better for the economy. The socialist mindset says the government should be supplying those services. The realist says that the private prison is overcrowded as it is. That the prison system is overcrowded as it is. So get more on this business of prison. You got prison quotas push lawmakers to feel bad 
HuffingtonPost.com, Derail Reform, where prisoners are guaranteed lockup quotas ensure that private prisons turn a profit. Lock up quotas. So we, we read in Arizona, sometimes there's 100% quotas for these private prisons. They have to be 100% full or they can sue the government. We got uh, prisons in was it New Mexico suing the private prison suing the, the state right now because they were less than 90 something percent filled. Says the prison bed guarantee ranges between minimums of 70% occupancy in a California prison to 100% occupancy, man. 100% occupancy required at some Arizona prisons. 100%. Anything less than 100% filled, they can sue the state or government whatever they sue because they don't have enough of you <laughs> locked up experts argue that such requirements create an incentive for policymakers to focus on filling empty prison beds as opposed as opposed to pursuing long-term policy changes nah nah man they just want to fill it up it's a business and it's clear as day such as resentencing reform that could significantly reduce prison populations in short Many states are effectively obliged to continue to incarcerate, incarcerate people regardless of crime rates and public safety needs or otherwise hand over taxpayer dollars in order to satisfy private profit-making companies. <laughs> so you got this drop, man. I just wanna, you know, oh, this one right here is dropped by the brother Dawi. He dropped it in the drop chat room, left the Dawi. Get in the drop chat. You don't know what you're missing, man. Private prisons in the United States. This is the this is from www.sentencingproject.org. U.S. private prisons incarcerate incarcerate 128,063 people in 2016 alone, representing 8.5 of the total state and federal prison populations. Private prisons in the United States incarcerated 128,000 people in 2000. 16 alone. Since 2000, the number of people housed in private prisons has increased 47% since 2000. What's it like now in 2019? What's it going to be next year? Data compiled in the Bureau of Justice statistics and interviews with correctional Officials find that in 2016, 27 states and the federal government incarcerated people in private facilities run by corporations. Remember, the government's a corporation, so it's run by a corporation within a corporation, including Geo Group, Core Civic, formerly Correctional Corporations of America, and Management and Training Corporation. Core Civic and Management Training Corporation. All these are corporations, private prisons. Now you see the increase in this graphic, graph from 2000 and 2016. What's going on, man? They're privatizing it all, right? Because it's all one big charade, one big business. Incarceration in private prisons. So here you go. You can find your state. See what the incarcerations was from one from 2000 to, to 2016. Now Alaska might be the only one that literally got you know split in in three. So they they actually decreased from 2000 to 2016 by at least you know at least a third. Like you know what I mean. So there's or two thirds. So they only got about a third of what they had, you know what I'm saying, Arizona though, more than triple, I mean, it was 1,000 something, now it's 8,000, so multiply it times 8, what they're putting in the private prisons now, Arkansas went from 1,500 to zero, so we got to study that, what happened in Arkansas, are they just 
They just got rid of the private prisons. All right, let's go. California, damn near double. Colorado, damn near double. Connecticut didn't have many, now they do. Delaware don't have no private prisons like that. Washington, D.C. had 2,600 people in private prisons. Now there's, what, no data? It just says a star, so we don't know, right? <laughs> Florida quadrupled. Georgia doubled, over doubled. How Hawaii's about the same. Idaho went down. Indiana quadrupled. All right, so just study, you know, and, and see why, you know what I mean? See if you're planning your next move, maybe this is an indicator. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily an indicator, you know, this could be something else happening here. So, you know, dig on it, man. We're just talking about these private prisons. Let's do it, man. Let's uh, remember, surf the way, man. Get the drop. Drop it right, you know, right into our uh, Google Drive, man. A hop to the teacher that invented the script so that we can get dropped directly into our Google Drive right here, man. For the Drop Library, you dig? And all those that are a part of Drop Nation that join the Drop Nation for free, um, you know what I'm saying? Much a hop. You'll get all the new passwords when we start changing the passwords for the library as well as the uh, chat room. You'll also get some discounts. Uh, coming up for the drop shop and you know what I'm saying now that we got your uh, info and all this kind of stuff we're going to keep you up on you know all the events man because we will be starting to uh, organize swag frequency events starting in the uh, LA area Cali whatnot but we'll also be working with other folks in other places to organize swag frequency events you know what I'm saying just spreading the frequency spreading the flow so you know if you're interested in that type of thing in your area hit us up as well music at 432thedrop.com and you're also supposed to be getting five songs a month for free tuned to 432 so all those that are tuned or uh, a part of the drop tuner package as well you know you get on here you can do all that stuff you know what I mean just come on over to uh, where we at support drop nation that takes you basically to all the you know what I'm saying other platforms you can support you know what I mean J Stu's baby fun all that man, keep keep that, keep all that flow going. Yeah, I believe it's right there in support drop nation that you can, you know, check out the uh, tuner package, all that stuff, man. So <clears throat> get the drop, aqua, what it do, oh man, we got some great picks going on in support drop nation, man. Can't tell us who we are. How can you tell us who we're not? Support how I do, case do, man. Keep this flow going, man, to the Yapa family, man. You know what I mean? Support the tribal fund. We still need to make sure we got all the funds, you know what I mean, for whatever's coming, you know what I mean, that it's for our tribe, man, right there. Support the Cedars of Lebanon, man. You know what I mean? Support all the drop, man. Of course, you can support the drop radio directly on our PayPal right here like that as well man let's get it yeah so we're gonna watch this video we're gonna watch this video man and um surf the way <laughs> we're gonna watch the video surf the way i'm gonna show you where to sign up for the drop tuner package so yeah everyone uh in drop vip gets five songs a month two and four three two if you don't have a drop box yet uh, or, or you're not dropping songs or something, you know, you're not getting your songs yet, make sure you got a Dropbox and just email me, music at 432thedrop.com. Uh, typically, we get to, as soon as you sign up, we create your Dropbox and you get an email. So if anything happens, you ain't got your email, you ain't got your Dropbox, do that. You know what I'm saying? We're small operation, man. We're making sure we get all this stuff together. Um, let's see, let's see. There we go. That's your donation right there. Get your shirt, get your gear. And the drop tuner would be, uh, there we go, support our tribe. Yeah, I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it up so it's easier for y'all to find it. All right, so this is for the comm zone. Uh, this is for the frequency of learning. We have a special practice for Drop Nation for the Drop VIP, $10 a month. 
and that uh, gives you access to our com zone at uh, frequencyoflearning.com. If you want to know more about it, click on it. We put music in that 432 frequency. We create uh, a com zone for your children, basically, that they can just play games, brain activation games and whatnot, and uh, get to choose their playlist and kind of make it a fun thing. So it's only 9 or nine ninety nine, ten dollars $10 basically every month. And it's great to have in your family for homeschoolers. So frequencyoflearning.com. Uh, there we go right there. Buy 432 Twitter package. So it's only 5 bucks a month, man. So enjoy it. You get 50 songs a month. 50 songs a month tuned to 432 hertz. You get your Dropbox. You just Dropbox your MP3s. And we Dropbox them back tuned every month. And if you're uh, if you already signed up, you don't have your Dropbox. Just email me music at 432 the drop. Dot com. And other than that, man, surf the wave, man, surf the wave. Let's go. Meet your straw man. Let's fall back, get a few minutes of this, and uh, keep it flowing. We got some more things to drop on. I want to talk a little bit about, about the UCC, which is the Uniform Commercial Code. And she's going to mention it, or one of the speakers is going to talk about it right here as well. And then we'll talk a little uh, de, de jure versus de facto, de jure versus a de facto, and maybe even get a bam bam discount, who knows man, let's fall back, love to Mi Mr. She Dappins, they go, reality is not at all what we perceive it to be, we cannot survive any longer by hanging on to the falsehoods of the past, reality must be discerned at all costs if we are to be a part of the future, Truth must prevail in all instances, no matter who it hurts or helps. Straw man. Raw ah, food. the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. How? Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. He was born the same day you were. He looks like you, has the same name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. You will have even paid his parking tickets or taxes. The worst part? He's been dead from day one. From every birth certificate, a legal personality, or legal fiction, is created with the same name to confuse little old you into thinking it's you. So, there is a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. So when it seems like government officials, court clerks, or the police are speaking English, they aren't. They're speaking legalese, designed to make you agree to verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it, all spun from Black's Law Dictionary. For example, when the police say, do you understand, you'll say, yes. What they are really saying is, do you stand under our authority? Oops-a-daisy. You just created a verbal contract with them. Oh, you clever government. Do you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over title to the person you register it with? That's right. Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs to them. Registered your car? Super! Now you are the registered keeper of your vehicle, and the government can crush it when you don't pay your... <clears throat> straw man's taxes Bang. expecting a new bundle of joy well then you need to register your little darling with a birth certificate then they can start the process all over again and create a new straw man for your little one isn't that great so when junior grows up he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have when you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate your child becomes a ward of state, and if the government doesn't like what you're doing, they'll assume it's okay to take the child away, or make new rules for things they don't like. Wow. Not enough school? Smacking your child? Shouting too loudly? Then it's off to social services for the little one. Wow. When you get a bill, it's sent to you, but belongs to your straw man, not you. That's why bills, fines, and summons start with Mr., Mrs., or Ms. Sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals, just like on a gravestone. That's because your straw man is dead and just a silly piece of paper, created before you could comprehend or even consent to it. When you go to court, you represent your straw man, so you, the human, take on any costs, fees, taxes,
taxes and fines involved for the straw man. The human you doesn't even need to pay them. But you made a contract with the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man. Just like the government knew you would. Confused? <laughs> well, don't worry. The government doesn't want you to know anyway. If you knew, you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets. Because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. You are you, alive and made of flesh and blood. Your straw man, or legal personality, is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate. And you think it's you. What a silly Billy. Hmm. Would you like to know more? Well, then go over to tpuc.org. Get tpuc.org. Go. Up, get informed, and get real. Reality. As we review the achievements of this session of the 73rd Congress, it is made increasingly clear that its task was essentially that of completing and fortifying the work which it had begun in March 1933. Mm. That was no easy task, but the Congress was equal to it. It has been well said that while there were a few exceptions, this Congress displayed a greater freedom from mere partisanship than any other peacetime Congress in our history since the administration of President Washington. Substantial gains well known to all of you have justified our course. I could cite statistics to show you and as unanswerable measures of our national progress. Figures to show the gain in the average weekly pay envelope of workers in the great majority of our industries. Figures to show hundreds of thousands of people re-employed in private industries and other hundreds of thousands given new employment through the expansion of direct and indirect government assistance of various kinds. In the working out of a great national program, that seeks the primary good of the greater number. It is true that the toes of some people are being stepped on and are going to be stepped on. But these toes belong to the comparative few who seek to retain or to gain position or riches or both by some shortcut that is harmful to the greater good. The program of the past year is definitely in operation, and that operation month by month is being made to fit into the web of old and new conditions. Hmm. A few timid people who fear progress will try to give you new and strange names for what we are doing. Sometimes they will call it fascism, and sometimes communism, and sometimes regimentation and sometimes socialism. But in so doing, they are trying to make very complex and theoretical something that is really very simple and very practical. Slaves are made in such ways. Greetings, everyone. Most of the information that I'm going to share with you all here today, less than 1% of the people on planet Earth fully understand how deep the rabbit hole really goes. Um, a lot of the information that I'm sharing with you is for your personal edification and further research. For people who have a cursory knowledge of the UCC, I ask that you be patient because in order to fully... Uniform Commercial Code, we're going to look this up anyway. Might as well read it. First published in 15 or 1952 is one of a number of uniform acts that have been promulgated with the goal of harmonizing the law of sales and other commercial transactions across the United States of America through UCC adoption by all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and U.S. territories. So what we're going to look into is the UCC-1. Let's go. Get a... 360 degree perspective on what's going on. 360 degree dragonfly. I have to sort of take it from the top. Now, basically, the first order of law is called natural law. And as children of the creator, 
we are all under natural law. Something has happened in the process that has removed us from natural law and placed us under artificial law. And that process, it took place during our birth. An uh, artificial corporate entity was created at birth uh, through the birth certificate. And your mother was listed as the informant, and she gave you over to the state. Um, and this is evidenced by your name in all capitals. At this point, a, uh, your birth certificate was sent to Washington, D.C. with a certificate of live birth, and a bond was placed on this. This bond is a significant amount of money. It's also, also through your Social Security. You were entered into a trust through the Social Security card. You have your social security numbers, and then on the back of your social security number, some people it's red, you have uh, nine figures. The first one is a letter. It's a letter from anywhere from A through L. Those letters indicate which Federal Reserve Bank is holding your exemption. After that, you have a series of eight numbers. Altogether, these numbers create what's known as your priority exemption account. And basically, this priority exemption account is known, has been used all over by different corporations. It is considered abandoned property. It's considered intellectual property and also con considered abandoned property because you haven't claimed it. And you haven't claimed it because you have no awareness of it. And basically, corporations all over, including your jobs, are using your um, exemption priority number. Mm -hmm. And this is basically how the whole scam is set up. Now, you have to understand that there's the flesh and blood person, and then there's the straw man. Anything you do in commerce is not predicated on the flesh and blood person. It's predicated on the straw man. You could look at your driver's license, your birth certificate, your work check, your any commercial document. It is not you, the flesh and blood person. It is an artificial corporate entity known as the straw man. And until you take commercial control of this straw man, the state has full control of it. Big point when we're reading the habeas is that why would he put up all those million dollar figures, kidnapping, trafficking, da 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 da, you know what I mean? When your birth certificate was monetized and converted into United States government bond, this is what, when you were born, all right, this is what we've been getting, get parts one and two. When you were born, that birth certificate was made into a bond, man. All right, this bond, all right, it says shortly after the birth of your mother, after you, after your birth by your mother, your net worth became unlimited. You are an unlimited being. That's why the brothers could put in $300 million into these GSA or performance bonds or, or uh, special bonds. And this is for you to look into further um, and go to parts. Uh, I believe part two is when I uh, showed all the bonds, but go get that, all right? So your net worth became unlimited into billions of dollars without your nor your mother or father's knowledge. You have an unlimited net worth. So you can put up whatever bonds because they created, one, you already had that, you know? So they're just duplicating or making a, a reflection of what the reality is like they do with everything else whether they talk a new testament jesus joshua this this that everything's a reflection so your net worth became unlimited into billions of dollars so you know some people when they when they were able to tap their account for what i've been told personally you know they've had millions they had millions of dollars in there in their, this account the same one from the social security card uh, or birth certificate you know, when it starts with that letter, like she said, it's corresponding to the international bank that's holding your securities, holding your funds, holding your surety, man. And it's all kind of specifics. And she's going to tell you that, you know, she's she trying to make it real simple, but 
it is you know a process that's going to take you know what i'm saying some serious recon for everyone it's not just someone just walking through it's just like you got to recon what's what's right for you and for yours and x y and z if you're making these moves to say you know what i'm separating from my straw man i'm separating from this on paper and this is how i'm gonna do it you know that's up to you or you can say you know what screw all that you know i'm just gonna wait for my dragon and it's gonna it's gonna go down <laughs> you know what i'm saying so this is not a necessity for for your connection with the creator or for your redemption process at all i don't i don't i don't personally believe anyone has to do this to get their redemption that the creator has promised uh however if you want to make certain steps and maneuver a certain way within the matrix this is what that's here for for you to have more information on it so get the drop and this is basically how they have been manipulating us as a people it's not predicated on race everybody is being screwed by this no matter what color and this hjr 192 is also something for you to look into when the united states declared bankruptcy of 1933 under the bankruptcy straw man law known as hjr 192 this is the straw man law pledged all americans as collateral so the hjr 192 is what officially pledge your life and the life of your children your family those you love you're now the collateral for the corporation for the debt you know what i'm saying if they go under they can come get you they don't have gold as collateral so if anything goes awry they can just say all right fine i gotta give my gold up no they gotta give their slaves up you are um i just want to point out um that the united states unbeknownst to many is not a country it is a corporation mm. so we have to be able to understand these concepts and see them as they really are um, i'm going to ask my friend don just to read a little bit okay this is the uh, united states us u dot s dot usa and america it means a a federal corporation title 28 usc which is us united states code section 3002 5 chapter 176 it is clear that the united states is a corporation 534 federal supplement 724 it is well stated that united states et al is a corporation originally incorporated february 21st 1871 under the name district of columbia 16 stat 419 chapter 62 it was reorganized june 11th 1878 a bankrupt organization Per House Joint Resolution 192 on June 5th, 1933, Senate Report 93, 549, and Executive Orders 6072, 6102, and 6246, a de facto government, originally the 10 square mile tract ceded by Maryland and Virginia and comprising Washington, D.C., Okay, excuse me. I'm just going to interrupt as he reads. No, no, okay. no. Um, originally, the U.S. just consisted of the 10 square miles within Washington, D.C. And through contracts, it contracted with different states as it, to expand that name to the rest of the states. Plus the, 40, plus the possessions, territories, sports, and arsenals. The significance of this is that a corporation, as a corporation, the United States has no more authority to implement its laws against we the people mm. than does McDonald's corporations. Mm. Except for one thing, the contracts we've signed as surety for our straw man with the United States and the creditor bankers. These contracts binding us together with the United States and the bankers are actually not with us but with our artificial entity, or as they term it, person, in quotes, which appears to be us, but spelled with all capital letters. Um, so it is key to understand that they are a corporation, and in order to have control over us, they had to create an artificial entity, also known as a corporation, to... Bang! In order to have control over you, they had to create... A synthetic you, a synthetic doesn't have 
power over what's natural. That's why they had to get out of natural law and destroy nature and the natural people. Now they can operate synthetically once they create a synthetic entity that they're calling straw man. And make sure you pull this link up. You got all the links below so you can do all this reading on your own. Let's go. Extend their power onto the flesh and blood man. And then when we sign these uh, adhesion contracts that are not revealing the true nature of the bindingness of the contract. This is how we end up getting into submission into these corporations. Um, I want everyone when they go home tonight to take their checkbook, to look at the signature line on the checkbook, what you may have thought was just a line. Mm. And if you take a magnifying glass and turn it upside down, you will see that it says authorized rep, authorized rep, all across the signature line. Because you, the flesh and blood person, are actually the authorized rep for the straw man, unbeknownst to you. Mm -hmm. um, so also through the, um, the birth certificate, through the uh, 14th Amendment, that is the beginning of the creation of the U.S. citizen. U.S. citizen, as we've been taught to believe, is also the straw man, part of the corporate fiction. And we need to understand how this came into creation. Um, back in 18, uh, June 11, 1878, which is the real birth date of the corporation of the U.S. The 1878 is the real birth date of the corporation. 1878, listen up. This is why a lot of astrologers try to do a chart for the U.S. and they can't read it because they're using the July 4th date, which is the inception of the Constitution. Wow. But we're not under that. We've long been under that. That was part of the Republic. And they slowly moved us into a democracy and into a whole corporate structure. And so it is important if we're thinking about freedom that we have to separate ourselves from the corporate fiction and the flesh and blood person. Also in uh, 1933, we had what was known as the New Deal. This is when the whole corporate fiction began. It was already, the groundwork was already laid out in the 14th Amendment where it's the beginning, you know, we have thought that that meant freedom and the slaves, are incorrect. That is the beginning of creating a U.S. citizen. Prior to that, there was no such thing as a U.S. citizen. A U.S. citizen is only a corporate fiction that exists within the matrix because it's a fiction of law. Matrix. It does not exist. So uh, in 1933, you had the whole collapse of the economy. And that's when uh, FDR, he was president, and, you know, we all heard in history class of the New Deal program. And, um, you know, it was sold to us that he resurrected the country from bankruptcy and he saved the day. But that is at the point where he began and sold the entire country into bankruptcy. It was bankrupt in June 11th, 1878. And with a country or corporation... Well, with an individual person, bankruptcy lasts for seven years. With a corporation, it lasts for 70. So it had to be redone in 33, which was the whole point of FDR. You know, as I say, um, the... Here we go. So the UCC-1, we talk Uniform Commercial Code. This is when in commerce, when in commerce, do as commerce does. So it says use the ucc Use the UCC. The UCC-1 uh, financing statement is one contract in the world that cannot be broken, and it's the foundation of the accepted for value process. The power of this document is awesome. So we're going to look into this UCC-1 financial statement filing from my novice, uh, you know, drop on it uh, that's been told to me, you know. Basically, it's putting your account on lien. It's saying, you know, no longer do you have control over this account. Now we need an accounting of it. Now we need, you know what I mean, if you want to 
go forward, you know what I'm saying, with this account. You know, one, I'm taking control of this account. Um, since you created it, you know, in my name, it's in my name, I'm, I'm going to take control of it. You can no longer, you know, charge this account. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, you know, use this account to, you know, get free of these debts and these debts. And you can start using, you know, these this account that she broke down, you know, that uh, the account numbers on your social security card and all that, birth certificate account numbers and all these banks, these international banks, the IMF, all these um, organizations, the Federal Reserve which is not a secondary creditor, but you're the primary, but you've been, you know, told that you're the, you're the tail, not the head, you know, that there is, you know, power particular in this particular financial statement in separating or putting them on notice or on lane that you're taking control of this entity that they no longer have control, uh, you know, to just pretty much pimp it out in your name, that type of thing. So look into it. The real deal of the new deal it was a raw deal so um this is when he, he created the maternity act and he made it mandatory that everyone have birth certificates upon the birth of a child and so with the birth certificate as i said earlier they placed a bond on that birth certificate and they sold that bond to the international bankers the international bankers owns everyone that is a straw man. If you haven't separated yourself from the, your straw man, then you are state property. A prop so it's all about separating from this commercial matrix cor corporate entity that we're functioning under, especially in commerce. When you separate from it, that's a version of freedom. All right, let's go. The award of the state. And basically, they are moving in to collect on their assets. Um, through the creation of the birth certificate, they uh, also removed all the lawful money. The Constitution says the only lawful money is gold and silver. And through the removal of gold and silver, that placed them out of alignment with the Constitution and it made them a uh, de facto legal government. And this is how they came about with firms or Federal Reserve notes, which is an illegal form of money. But however, to protect themselves and to have what's known as plausible deniability in case any of us woke up to realize that we're using illegal money according to our very Constitution, they erected a, a, a plan known as HJR 192. So they had everyone bring in all their gold. You had a certain amount of days to go to the bank and bring in all of your gold and silver. And then we began the use of ferns, Federal Reserve notes, which are currently not backed by anything. This is uh, uh, money that we're all striving and killing ourselves for is nothing more than another debt instrument. It only has value because it's perceived to have value. And this is why they're panicking with the Homeland Security and all of these different things, because as people wake up, they will realize that these firms that we've been using is useless. It's another debt instrument, and it is not backed by anything. So with the creation of HJR 192, it's set up where the sovereigns would be able to discharge all their debts public and private by using their exemptions. As I explained to everyone earlier, the exemptions are the numbers on the back of your social security card. Mm. Unfortunately, it has taken us at least 70 years from back then to figure out how to tap into your exemptions because there was never any instructions or any information as to how to use your exemptions. Only major corporations basically have been tapping into and accessing your exemptions, A, because you haven't claimed it, claimed it and it's considered a bandit property. <laughs> so um, in this, um, this HJR 192, there was a remedy so that should the people ever confront the government for treason by not using lawful forms of currency, they had a plausible deniability. They're like, well, we gave you all HJR 192 to discharge your debt, 
But, you know, if you never figured it out, that's, you know, your, your problem, your concern. So this... And that's what this is all about. It's like, you know how they function, you know. Again, this also... It always reminds me of the New Testament because, you know, you could look at it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's that, that's, you know, you, you got to go through this to get to that, you got to go through this to get to the creator, you know what I mean? Um, but unless you know, unless you do your due diligence, unless you study and show yourself approved, unless you research the councils and the Piso families and the Josephus and you really break down, you can start seeing clearly, you can start looking to the Anatoly for the Mancos, the timelines, knowing that, yo, these thousands of years have been added to your timeline you know now you can put your timeline back and say yo what they're talking about bc's is really what's happening in the so-called middle ages in the so-called 1100s 1200s 1300s now you got joshua and moshe and king david and all this situation popping up in around between 900 to 1200 so-called ad and once you right there with it once joshua's right there in the 1100s or around, you know what I'm saying? Not in some faraway BCs. There's no space. There's no place for this other Jesus. There's no place for this other Joshua or this other testimony when the old, so-called old test is just happening in the 1100s and 1000s and, and 1200s. King David, Moshe, all this is just happening. The Besant team is just going out in 1453, the same year they say the same man, Yah River stopped flowing. The same, you know, one year after the Dumb Night versus Papal Bull, one year after 1452, 1453. Then you got these councils and, and you got all this New Test stuff possibly coming out around the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, 1800s. And these are real life, real spill possibilities. Then you got to look at, well, who's giving me a doctrine in the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s? And what does it got to do with the takeover? You put it all back together. It's, that's the same thing this is. Is there's loopholes. There's, 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 you know, there's drop. There's Moshe in the bathwater. You know what I'm saying? Within it. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of, you know, you can't just be, uh, it's, everything has a balance to it. So it's, it's one thing to say, you know what? Fuck this system, man. I don't want to look at none of this stuff. I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> pick up my, my sword, let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's, hey, that's exactly, you know what I'm saying? As per the creator, as per prophecy, you know what I mean? That's redemption season, man. We already know. We on our land. We get our land back. Meanwhile, if there's any way to get you out of some debt or there's any way to, you know, free some of the, you know what I'm saying, prisoners behind the wall because we're doing it for the captives. This is the third wave. Now we see clearly, you know what I mean? Then let's address those particular issues and this legal drop man this this um you know what they call a habeas corpus you know what i'm saying certain things man are our information to say look you know they've sort of pivoted themselves so that they can say they gave you the information like she just said i'm gonna rewind this last part they can say they gave you the drop but they ain't gonna lead you to the water so that's what we getting the babies out from the remedy so that should the people ever confront the government for treason by not using lawful forms of currency they had a plausible deniability they're like well we gave you all hjr 192 to discharge your debt but you know if you never figured it out that's you know your your problem your concern uh -huh. so this is basically how they um covered themselves to introduce this fictitious form of money. Now, um, we have to also understand one of the things we've never been taught in this Prussian school system is how to navigate commerce. And one of the key things is that we have to keep in mind that the U.S. corporation is under a bankruptcy. And under a bankruptcy, all the commercial rules change. It's actually the reverse of everything you've been taught mm. and this is one of the reasons why we've had so much difficulty um i some of it i have to read because it's very technical and i don't want to that's cold right here u.s bankrupt since 1933 martial law has been since then so you wait no martial law you already are in martial law uh, bastardizing information by not being clear
Okay, this is the United States Congressional Record, March 17th, 1993, volume 33, page H, 1303. In red, it says, this is important. Speaker Representative James Trafficant Jr., Ohio, addressing the House, and it's in quotes. Mr. Speaker, we are here now in Chapter 11. That's bankruptcy for all who don't know. Members of Congress are official trustees presiding over the greatest reorganization of any bankrupt entity in world history, the U.S. government. We are setting forth, hopefully, a blueprint for our future. There are some who say it is a coroner's report <laughs> that will lead to our demise. It is, a it is an established fact that the United States federal government, federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act, March 9, 1933, 48 Stat 1, Public Law, 89-719, declared by President Roosevelt, being bankrupt and insolvent. H.J.R. 192, 73rd Congress, M. Session, June 5, 1933. Joint resolution to suspend the gold standard and abrogate, abrogate the gold clause, dissolve the sovereign authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States governmental offices, officers, and departments, and is further, further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name only. The receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers via the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. These entities all own everyone's straw man, and they're in the process of getting ready to cash in. All United States offices, officials, and departments are now operating within a de facto status. De jure would be a real government. Right. De facto is a fictitious, insolvent government. In name only, under federal, under Emergency War Powers Act, with the constitutional republican form of government now dissolved, the receivers of the bankruptcy of the bankruptcy have adopted a new form of government for the United States. This new form of government is known as a democracy, being an established socialist communist order under a new government for America. This act was instituted and established by transferring and or placing the office of the Secretary of Treasury to that of the governor of the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. Public Law 94564, page 8, section HR 13955, reads in part, the U.S. Secretary of Treasury receives no compensation for representing the United States. Continue on, that's good. Okay, well, okay, I just want to define principle because we are in a bankruptcy. That's why it's key. You have to understand all of these corporations are insolvent. The only real money out there is you, is me. Real That's talk. it. Let's go. Because we're under insolvency. But because they're under an admirality, colorable jurisdiction, they get to flip mode it. And they're actually using your exemption. Uh, I wouldn't suggest unless you fully understood what you were doing. But if you were to ask to see their 1099, 1096, OID, INT, and PTR, you will see that your name is listed as the principal, the fiduciary, the creditor, and the principal. We are the creditors because they are using our exemption. Without our exemption, you would this whole thing would crumble. And they are listed as the fiduciary debtors because they are insolvent. Tell them how much the exemption is worth. <laughs> the exemption is worth millions and, or in billions. And we're at the point where we've been studying this and researching it, and we finally have dissected how to tap into our exemption by using an international bill of exchange under the guidelines of Unitrap. Unitrial is the United Nations trade, uh, trade law, and it has, you can go to the website for yourself and begin to look at it. There's an international promissory note. There's the international bill of exchange. In order to use a bill of exchange, you can only use it on pre-existing debt. In order to use a, um, the promissory note, that's to buy things. And this is how 
they've been tapping into our exemption. And there's several chapters throughout the Bible that talks about, like, the worst thing you could possibly do is to be a debtor. And they have flipped all their debt onto us. Some people may say, well, you know, why should I care about this? I don't have any credit card. I don't have any debt. The national debt is um, probably about now about $7.8 trillion. According to the U.S. Code, the national debt should never exceed $6.5 trillion. The day that it went over was the day we had 9-11. So this is how ill this is. All the banking records, the bonds, were housed in the first floor of the World Trade Center. That's the real reason that that had to go. Okay? So we are at the point now where, um, well, let me go to the prison system. Uh, when you're stopped by the police, the police, they're putting in, in their computers all updated, latest state-of-the-art stuff. They're beginning the assessment process. They're putting you into the computer, your straw man into the computer, and they're going through your exemption, but through the cops, they wouldn't, it's not listed as an exemption. It's listed as QSIP or um, Autotrist number. So when the case goes into, you know, you say you're arrested, it goes to the court, immediately a bond is placed on those charges for X amount of dollars. There's really no such thing as criminal charges. All charges are civil. It's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins, baby. We in battle time. And what she just tell you, man, it's all civil. It's all commerce, man. So when the case goes into, you know, you say you're arrested, it goes to the court, Immediately, a bond is placed on those charges for X amount of dollars. There's really no such thing as criminal charges. All charges are civil. It's all about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins. Go, go, go get the rest of this great drop, man, from Mr. She Dappins, D-A-P-P-N-S. Uh, you know, we talked about, how do I say, spell this right, de jure. Uh, versus de facto. Alright, let's see if we can get some drop on this. Corporation. A de jure corporation is a bona fide corporation that has fulfilled all its requirements. So are we in a de jure corporation? Let me get this closer. Make sure you got the drop. Hey, boo. No. All right, all right. So, is this corporation, uh, has it fulfilled all its requirements? No, it's been bankrupt and insolvent since the 30s. So, a de facto corporation is basically a good faith attempt to become a corporation, but due to some technicality, does not fulfill every requirement needed. So, this, this corporation is in de facto, not de jure. It's not all good. It is a good faith. Let's have faith because we're going to attempt to be a corporation. And in that corporate status, still try to rule over people. And in order to rule over you, they must turn you into corporations, which is what we're talking about separating from. And you got the drop on how to take a few, you know, them steps, man. We also talked about the UCC1 filing. A UCC filing refers to UCC1 financial statement, which is a legal form that a creditor files, right? Because you're not the debtor, you're the creditor to give notice that it has or might have an interest in the personal or business property property of the debtor. So the debtor is this corporation. They're the debtor. They're in debt. They're insolvent. They're bankrupt. You're the creditor. You're the birth certificate. You're the primary creditor. The Federal Reserve is the secondary creditor. And you are also been made collateral since the 30s of the insolvent bankrupt corporation that is in de facto not de jure we're learning this together we're digging on it but ucc filing refers to the ucc1 filing statement so you know i've been told the first step is really getting this done the ucc1 filing statement but look more into it uh which is a legal form that a creditor files that's you to give notice to put them on notice to put a lien on your account 
that it has or that you might have an interest in the personal or business property of a debtor or what's going on with this straw man, all right, with this account that's set up in your name, and it's called the UCC1 finance, financing statement. And again, man, that's for you to dig on, man. And yeah, man, we just been surfing away, man. Um, you know, we're going to get out of here, man, and uh, you know, get a good dismount popping. Again, man, hit up the drop shiz up, man. We got some new, some new uh, drip in the drop, sh in the drop shop, man. Love to the sister Phoenix, man. The brother, the I believe it, the the light hour, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting this right, man. But a good brother that we'll be definitely uh, talking to more, working with, um, you know, with many more things, man, including the TDR flow. Uh, yeah, you go here, man, get the drop, man, whatever slogans you want. If we don't have them in stock, we'll order it and get it to you. So go ahead, get the drop, the hoodies, the hats. I know it's cold. Uh, who is Preston John? Free Phoenix. If they can't tell us who we are, how can they tell us who we're not? You know what I mean? Keep the water flowing. Dodge your own hijacks. I am the book. I never appreciate reading to realize I am. The book, man. Go get the look. Love the Paco King's oil. Get the drive. Shea Butter Vanessa Perkins. Get the drop, man. Crystal James Jewelry. Get the drop. And the newest one here is Jewelry and Ancient Wellness Essentials inspired by the divine healing practices of our indigenous ancestors by Phoenix ISM. Thank you for supporting Phoenix. She got so much incredible craftsman craftsmanship, man. Um, you know, go get that drop. She has a special drop nation. Special discount code, 20% off. So when you click here, it's already been implemented by clicking this link. You already got that 20% off of whatever you got, man. Love to the sister Phoenix. Support the drive. Love to the brother. Let's go, man. Let's go, let go. And we just surfing the wave on out, man. I mean, we just surfing the wave on out. How y'all want to do this? How y'all want to do this? Another great drop I recommend getting in your own time. In your own time, man. It's this drop, uh, this legal drop, drop by, let's get it right here. We got a lot, we got all kind of legal drop, man, all kind of legal drop. There we go, via the brother Takum side, man. Gain access to your straw, man, how to fill UCC by levitating so if you want to know more about the filing filing the ucc you know what i mean go ahead and get the drop right here man go ahead and get the drop um so you got the water man hit a 432thedrop.com man and speaking of the water man sometimes primitive technology literally <laughs> takes us to the water and you know what i'm saying we see what he does with this water sometimes he makes uh mud bricks sometimes he makes towel towel roofing sometimes he makes furnaces all right burning furnaces this particular dry right here we digging on uh the stone yam planters man stone yam planters man have you heard of a stone yam planter man i know man me too man me too let's get it let's get it from here man trying to jack my net don't jack my internet man don't jack my net not yet give me a few more minutes with drop nation give me a few more minutes with drop nation we're just talking about bam bam baby stone yam planters for the dismount and they go Bam, bam. Everybody digging on Bam, bam. Let's go, man. Let's go, Bam, bam. What you got for us, man?